If you are a Fast and Furious fan, you are not going to want to miss this video. Stay tuned. That is right. So I recently posted a video going over some of my wheel swaps here on some Fast and Furious cars. Um, and this is with my little custom wheel setup here, with, which is the Carlomo bearing wheels with the monoblock tires. So as you can see here, we got the tire, Toyo tire lettering, and then you can see how just awesome these ball bearing wheels spin and look. So just super aggressive, like styling here. Uh, so here is the Eclipse, which I said these just like spin. It's like so addicting to spin these wheels. Uh, but I believe I showed off the RX-7, the Eclipse, as well as Jesse's Jetta. I mean, just look at that. It looks so cool. And this one has, uh, it's hard to see, but it has the uh, blue brake calipers. And then I painted the roll cage red on the inside. And I just think the white with the blue, it just looks killer. So I said I was going to be doing some more, and I did. So this is the Supra from the new um, two-pack. So this is the premium and it came with the darker, more movie correct paint color, which I could not wait to get my hands on. And also could not wait to throw some of these Carlomo wheels on here. So this one has the Nitto tires. So I went with a nice little five spoke wheel, has the red brake calipers, just looking super mean. And like I showed before, these cars like roll like extremely good. It's actually hard to set them up here on my diorama. If it's not perfectly flat, they just like start like rolling off the table. So pretty crazy. But I am super happy with how the Supra turned out and just glad that we got a, another premium version that is not a peach color and is actually more of like the bright orange like the movie. And last but certainly not least, you know we had to do Brian's Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. So this one also was a premium model. So this is the one from the series where they did all the black wheels on the cars. So that one was a little cheaper than some of the other ones. So went with that guy. So those were the only changes I made to the car was put the new wheels on it. And these cars are screwed properly back together. So the only thing I wish like this one maybe had like blue or like some kind of different calipers, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers here. I still think it looks absolutely awesome. So the only other car that I am considering doing now would be uh, Brian's Ford F-150, the lightning pickup truck from the first movie. So that one I might do. And then I think the only other two, maybe if I wanted to do all of the cars from the original movie would be uh, Letty's S-14 and then um, I can't remember his name, but the guy with the R33. So the yellow R33 and then the purple S14, that would kind of complete like all the cars from the first movie. So I guess I would even have to do what Leon's Maxima too, even though I don't really care for that casting too much, but we shall see. This is a little bit expensive to do. Like this wheel and tire combo is about like $15 a car. And like this, um, Jesse's Jetta here, even in loose form, which is how I bought this, is still like $40. So, I mean, these Fast and Furious cars are not cheap. And then these wheel and tire combo is not cheap either. But I think it is totally worth it. So you have to let me know down below what you think of this wheel and tire combo. I just absolutely love how all these cars turned out. And... Just super happy to have these in my collection. And like I've said, I've always wanted to do kind of my own customs for some of these Fast and Furious cars. And I did a ton of experimenting and trial and error with different wheels and tires. And this is the combination I came up with that I think looks good, as well as I love the tire lettering and just how well these wheels spin. Um, it's just so addicting to spin them and just watch them sit there and just spin forever and ever so it's super cool and with that being said i hope you enjoyed today's upload and if you did be sure to smash the like button comment and subscribe and we will catch you on the next episode peace